I think records are a snapshot of where you are at this point in your career and your life. You know, the people that surround you, that you know, that that inspire you. This record is a travelogue. It started in New Orleans. All of a sudden, it came back through Nashville, went up to New York, went across the sea to London. And what's come out of this is music that I never dreamed of making. Because Jerry is such a master musician and he's such a soulful player, I thought, well, it might be interesting to get him out of his comfort zone and to go to another place and maybe inspire him and challenge him a little bit. Meeting Russ a few years ago, we always said to each other, we should work together sometime, we should do something together. And, and so the first thing that he and I both agreed on was that maybe New Orleans would be a good place to start, you know, because we both love it down here in New Orleans. We love the music, we love the food, we, the whole vibe is good. And that is a really important part of making music. Something you got, babe It depends on where you are as to what kind of music is going to come out of you. New Orleans has its own rhythm and to me the rhythm of this place is just a slower heartbeat, you know, just a more relaxed kind of groove. This is the point, you know, of, of the beat. Uh, the, this is the width of where that beat can fall and still be correct in New Orleans, you know, where you never think the snare is really gonna hit, you know, until finally, bam, you know, it falls there and it falls in the same place every time. It, in some places it'll fall like exactly on, on the beat, exactly in the middle, Bluegrass music, it'll be rushed a little bit. The beat will be a little bit ahead of the center point, but in New Orleans, it falls a little bit back. I said my, my. Music is an attitude. You can play the same music with a different attitude, and it's a different music, just because of your surroundings. The main idea for this record is to mix a few more cultures into my big old pot that I've been stirring for years. I sort of look at myself as a student always, you know, so I'm, I've been inserted into this situation and I'm learning, I'm listening, I'm keeping my ears open to what they're doing and play off of what they're, what they're doing and become a part of their thing. New Orleans records from the early 60s. For decades, they just kind of disappeared. You'd hear them on the oldie stations. And the playing on those records, the piano playing, Huey Piano Smith and the drumming, and the, you know, I mean, it's so unique and so beautiful and so kind of mellifluous and fantastic. And, and it was always one of my favorite things. So we did a version of that too. Something you got me. I think I will leave New Orleans in these sessions and take a piece of this to the next session. This will color the next sessions. They're all going to be kind of smeared, you know, with, with one another. I'm surrounded by such joy here. It colors your way of doing things. It's like you leave New Orleans, you don't leave that feeling.
I've produced all my own records and, and to take on a producer for my, this record is a completely new thing for me. To have somebody wearing all those hats instead of me, you know. This way I can, I can concentrate on my playing and listen to what's going on around me. Russ is a very inspiring man himself. He's just got this enormous encyclopedia, you know, storehouse of music up here between his ears. Stuff that's, you know, it's like if it's been a hit once, it could very likely be a hit again. And he remembers great songs and great lines from songs that everyone can identify with. plays in, in a different way on the New Orleans stuff pretty much than he ever played before. So we have this Nashville part, you know, his home turf stuff. This is finishing up the idea and it seems to be really working better than we had ever imagined. I've traveled so much in my life and you know, been all over the world, being lost in the middle of a crowd, not knowing the language, not knowing anybody there. Just, I mean, it's, just, it's thrilling, actually. To me, it may, it may be scary to somebody, but to me, it's thrilling, you know? Cause I, I'll get back, I'll get back to home base at some point. Music is like that. So much of what I have seen has found its way into what I play, into my music, all of these influences and all of these, these smells and sounds and all of these recollections and stories, emotions, all these kind of things, you try to get those out through your instrument. <laughs> Feels great to get that down. It's the most bluegrass thing on the record. And let's go see what happened. Feel pretty good about it though. I was walking to the uh, Royal Festival Hall, walking over the Thames and talking to Marcus Mumford on the phone and said he said, Do you what about the boxer? And I said, I love the boxer. I am just a poor boy, though my story's seldom told. I squandered my resistance for a pocket full of mumbles, such are promises. All lies and jest, still the man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. I met Mumford and Sons, and we just kind of like, just kind of glommed onto each other. They're just like sons to me at this point. but. We have fun, you know, there's a lot of fun there. And the respect goes both ways. And it's, that's what's really beautiful about it. And, and they come over and they come to, they come to our house and uh, hang out with us, and hang out with our kids. Everywhere we've gone, everything we've done has been a step forward and, and, a, and a step up, not a step sideways, a step up. The 
this record has traveled and it's grown, you know, it's, it's gotten so much bigger than I thought it would get. I've tried to put it together what it is, you know, what it's a tour of. Mostly for me, it's, it's a huge growing experience. Just when you think you've reached your boundaries as a musician or just learning how to interpret other people's ideas and how they uh, react to you, and, you know, just reactions to each other, you know, and how much people are really alike. I think that's what this record's about. It's a long way around finding out how much things are really the same. And it's blown down a lot of barriers that I must have had. Not knowing I had, but, you know, they're gone. And I'm happy. And, and, and have grown within in the process. So, you know, I couldn't ask for more. La, la, la.